Hello YouTube, it's Everything you Pan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Server 2008 in VirtualBox. Uh, first of all, excuse me if I'm sick. Um, the voice, sorry, my voice, I'm sick. Um, so if it sounds different, just ignore it. It's just that I'm sick at the moment. Um, so basically this video is just coming out. I've been trying to get a Mac OS X 70 or El Capitan video, but I just haven't gotten them to completely work with either VirtualBox or VMware yet. So once I get that working, I should hopefully get a tutorial out, but I just had to get a tutorial out now since it's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded a video. And I uh, might as well just do a Windows tutorial since it's actually been, seems like it's been a bit since I've done one, but I could be wrong. So um, there might be an update video coming out like uh, the one I had before that said future videos and update or whatever. There might be another little update video coming out because I do have some more news. So but on this note uh, we're going to go ahead and just begin with the uh, server tutorial and uh, first thing you're going to need is either VirtualBox or VMware. One of those two programs, both links in the description. Um, you're going to need a Windows Server 2008 ISO. There is no product key. Um, required or available um, so and then there is a password this time but I'm making it easier I'm not gonna make you guys download a file uh, just to get the password it's gonna be in the video from now on it's just gonna be on the right hand corner right over here that's where it is it's not even gonna be in the description even if I put it in the description and I'll just say look in the video and it should be there Alright, so now that we got that cleared up, we're going to go ahead and uh, go into VirtualBox. That's what I'm going to use. We're going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to call it Windows Server 2008. And it's already selected in the version. Hit next. And then we're going to go ahead and bump it up. I'm going to bump it up to a gig of RAM. Hit next. I'm going to create a virtual hard drive. Just leave it at 25 gigs for myself. But you can edit it to whatever you want. Go ahead and create it then hit uh, settings uh, this would be probably between yep this would go settings uh, then you go storage and then this little empty disk and then you're gonna go ahead and go find your ISO lines right here and then go ahead and hit save and click OK and then you can go ahead and eventually start the machine once you get the ISO in, in there go to power on basically do the little Windows is loading files thing just like Vista and Windows 7. This is what it did first. And then it's kind of just, it's very similar to Windows 7 install. Very, very similar. So, you'll get to the interface here. And it looks very similar to the Windows 7 install. Um, you're going to go ahead and hit next on this or just to select your keyboard layout and language inputs and stuff and then click install now if you're from a different country obviously you change it from English but um, you can just hit next on this you don't need a product key um, just go ahead and hit no on this window you don't have to have product key it just means that it won't be activated but you have I believe it's a 180 day evaluation trial I don't know if that's for this version anymore, but it could be for any others. Um, so now it shows you every single uh, edition that you can choose from. I recommend doing one of the full installations, not just server core, because server core really is mainly based on command prompt. Um, so normally what I do is I just do Windows 2008 standard full installation. That's just the one that I do. And then click I've selected the edition. And then you go ahead and hit next. Accept the license agreement. Hit next. You gotta hit custom. You can't operate obviously because you don't have an operating system installed. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit next to install on that hard drive. So we're just gonna let it sit. This could take from a range of 10 to maybe 20, 25 minutes. And uh, so this could take some time. We're just gonna let it sit. And I'll be back with you guys once it's finished with the uh, first part of the installation. Alright, we have hit the restart point. We're going to restart now. So that actually took a little bit quicker than I expected. I really didn't even pay attention to the time. Don't press any key to boot from CD or DVD. I've had people do that before. Um, so if that would bug you at all, just take out the disk now. So that you don't have to worry about it later on. So it'll come up with this little message. 
to take it through the GUI interface, because this part shouldn't take that long, but please wait while Windows sets up your computer message. So, you just kind of have to wait. I mean, this is pretty much a waiting game. I don't know, maybe it will take you to the... Okay, so it'll... It should take you back to GUI. And it's going to keep going with the completing installation, just like Windows 7. And you're going to have to just let it sit. This could take a couple minutes. And I'll be back with you guys uh, once we can uh, get to the actual setting up of the users and everything. Okay, so we hit our next reset point. I barely got it. Um, I almost missed it, uh, to be honest. But it'll say, press boot. Press to boot. Do not do that. You'll just keep going in a constant loop and it'll annoy you so much. So, now I think we should be done with that completing installation screen. Or I might do it one more time, I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember off the top of my head. I don't think we have to go through it again. But, you see the cursor. desktop, which should not take too long. Now this whole process just kind of depends on your computer speed and everything. As you can see, uh, we have sound drivers, we have network drivers. Um, I don't know if you can change your uh, screen resolution or not, but um, I don't know how high it goes to. Oh, yes, you can. You can change it to, we'll change it to this one. As you can see, if you keep it, and if I go to uh, make it full screen, it should be bigger. Yep. So there you go. There is Windows Server 2008. Um, you can kind of just mess around with this and kind of maybe create your own virtual server if you wanted to. So thank you guys for watching. That's the end of the tutorial. More tutorials coming soon. Um, as I say in the description of all my videos, subscribe for more videos. Like it, like the video if you thought it helped you out and share it so that other people um, can use this video as a guide for them. Also comment your ideas. I've had a lot of people commenting ideas. They're very good ideas. But if any more of you guys have any ideas, I know a lot of you guys will probably repeat some of them. But uh, just keep commenting your ideas. It gives me gives me more videos to do. And so um, be on the lookout for maybe an update video coming in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for dealing with my sick voice today, but uh, 